Hello, and welcome back to the second episode of Nintendo Pocket Football Club Spider Man. For the next two matches, we're just going to be doing some practice matches just to get more cards for these players to get better. Right now, give these players a few of these cards. This one, if I'm correctly. Yep, we already given this one. It's just open space. That allows them to run into open space. The obvious and get past defenders. This person. Up there, I'm going to start the two practice matches. We do it against uh, good omens. Normally, it's usually better to go into the better teams because the way you get cards is dependent on how badly the team performs, essentially. You get more cards the worse you perform. Okay. So these guys are perfectly fine. I really need to sort this out. I don't want to have to keep swapping here. Fine. Which one's Pyrrha? Yeah, Pyrrha's. What do you Okay, it's fine. Again, since this is based on how badly they perform, let's make it an awful composite. We're all attacking, and we'll focus all of our strength on the defenders, or maybe one of the midfielders. Right, let's go. Coin toss, who's going to win? Oh, that well, was going to be three for three then. Sadly not. I think Flores senses the ball in. Lavellin takes it. Passes to Garcia. Long ball. Intercepted by Benedetti. Passes to Schwartz. Onto the wing with Flores. To the centre. Orish catches it. Comte, Flores, Llewellyn, who carries it to Ergarov, who loses the ball, Llewellyn again, Martin, and the Desi by accident, goes to Dominicas, goes to the wing, and then goes back to the centre, Dominicas again, but goes out for a corner? Oh, I must have deflected, oh, oh no, no, oh no, great. Any of set pieces isn't exactly a forte, I guess. Yeah, skip this one. The center, Ergarov. Well, let's focus on the main aspect of this. How many cards do we have now? Three. Okay. Don't worry, we have like 25 minutes left. More than that. Ah. Ah. A booking or a red card? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Ball straight to the wing. Flores senses the ball. This my line. Nope. Dominicas to Ulrich, and there was an attempted overhead kick by Schwartz. Yeah, the overhead kick is also a card. You have to unlock that by using the card. And I don't know the combination off the top of my head. Okay. Five cards right now. Nice. Rowan. Cool. Okay, passing down the wing. Silvestri. Long ball. Over to Schwartz. Takes a shot and goes in the top corner. Man. 
Might as well just leave my last pretty good go. Any of you wondering, or wondering why I play three defenders? It's purely because of the fact that defenders, in my opinion, are absolutely god awful in this game. But I'm going with the bare minimum that I want to use, and it's three. I played with four, and I'm pretty sure I've conceded more goals with four than I have with three in the past. So if you, so if that, if any wants to ask about that, that's pretty much the reason why. Absolutely awful. And that's offside. Nice. Oh, yeah, how many defenders does this guy have? Four. Okay. Smells like he's helping my argument, but then again, they are in the league above, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And they have a bunch of stats that are much higher than mine. They have Flores, which has an S. Yeah. Strength there. And an A in technique. Boxes. To Martin. Weinrich steals the ball. How many cards is that now? Oh, karaoke. Karaoke's quite a rare one. Okay, near in the end. This training session. Two more added minutes. Ventil. This is the Flores. And they've opened us up yet again. Okay, 2-0, that's not bad. Uh, four shots and three of them are on target. Well, there goes that goal, which we can see the first awful set piece defending. Oh, that's right. So, before I go into the card thing, there's actually two options for the practice matches. There's normal practice match, or there's a friendly. Friendlies are two halves. Practice match is only 45 minutes. However, friendlies, although it's longer and can give you more cards, they actually affect your rating. So if I go into here, I think it shows us the rating, does it? Oh. I don't know. So. That affects our reason. So if we lose, obviously our rating drops down. If we win, rating goes up and draw. Depending on who we're against, we can go up or down. Or not move at all. If Martin running and dribbling. And that's a combination. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Wing attack. Okay. There's also one called overlapping. I'm pretty sure that's sprinting and uh, dribbling. Uh, let's give Garcia a defensive one. A sliding and the meditation gives one, if I remember correctly. And that is not interception. It's a brick wall-esque one. Ah, risky block. I remember now. In that one, well, self explanatory forces them to go in front of the ball. Let's stop there. Right now, we can go against some first league ones. I go for the top rated one, which is Ridge Rangers. Practice match. I don't want to be in a slaughter fest for a whole match. I'll just be slaughtered for 45 minutes instead. Uh, swap you. Harassing one. One interesting thing about the game is mentioned in the first part of it, which I skipped. But as you play as any more games with each other, they become more accustomed to each other. And it allows them to pass a lot more uh, smoothly. It allows them to attack more smoothly. But right now, that's why I'm trying to play these practice matches with a squad that's slightly different to our main one. So who hasn't actually played up here? Oh, Armour, I think hasn't played. I'll swap them far. But 
Lima, so I'll go around him. And Pires, put you in the middle. And again, let's play the absolute worst possible tactics. Hmm, I forgot I've already done that. Let's go! You can tell it's a friendly as well because if I mean a practice match because friendlies will tell you the percentage chance to win. It looks like they've played the uh, they're playing defensively against this. I think our presence is that uh, scary for them to do this. Or not, no, they counter attack the great. And they're gonna steal, yep, they're gonna steal the, steal the ball from us. Duran is gonna shoot, sorry. Yep. And, oof. There's a low chance he's gonna miss that, let's be honest. There's a good stop, I guess. I don't think got any cards from that, I don't think. Oh, we did, we got two. It's in eight minutes. Well, I must be doing that badly. <laughs> Two cards, wait. <laughs> Ergarov steals the ball. Lambert. Oh yeah, a lot of the names, they, they do correspond with some pro players. However, the positions don't. So Lambert. Played for Southampton and Liverpool, if I'm not correctly. As a, as a striker, he is a defender in this one. Rasmov passes through the middle, loses the ball instantly to Brunner. Or is he? Passes to the wing. And we're already opened up. And he miss kicks it. Yeah, miss kicks happen a lot, by the way. Um, one of the worst ones is when you miss kick it and it forces a um oh, cool. and it forces a throw in from like B side here. I've had many a time where my own teammates or players managed to lose the ball over there and concede goals just like this. 3-0 down, how many cards do we have now? 4. Okay. And we're just past the halfway, we're just about to go past the halfway mark. Okay, we just got another one. Apparently not linking, linking up well enough. Cool. Smith passes the ball straight to our defender. Armas. It's a shirt pull. Raf, what are you doing? Clear and obvious. Valero crosses in to centre. Lombardi over the goal. There are moments where they just do just kick it straight into the centre for absolutely no reason. Is he going to do it next? No, he passes it. Doesn't cross it. Oh, through pass. We can concede another one. Yes, we are. How many now? Okay, that's good. Jeez, our possession's awful. That's not what we get for going all all out offense against a uh, League One team, I guess, or Premier League team in this case. Oh, we tried to chip it. Ronaldo is a good enough jumper. He got. C. What have they got? S. Ah. Really good save by Ronaldo there. And that is going to go back in. He's going to shoot, right? Yep. Nice. Can see another. There we go. Full set of eight. The most I've got in a single match is uh, ten. 
So like two extra cards. Go on. Armas passes over to them. Instantly gets intercepted. Visualization. Visualizing, I mean. So the card is picked up. Lombardi shoots and gets another one from the post. Full time. Okay, so that's the basics of getting cards in this game. Uh, I mean, a lot of people don't actually like forcing a loss like this. But I prefer just to get the cards, and also it doesn't affect my rating. Cool. Okay, I'll use up these cards for some more players. Let's give it to Far. Place kicks and weight. So if I'm correctly, that is a long ball. See? Long pass, not long ball, long pass. Let's go for Montero. Uh, oh yeah, there's also three card combos. This one I remember very well because I use it for all my strikers. This is a... Uh, oh, I forgot what it's called. There it is. Goal sniffer. Of course, better for strikers and attacking midfielders. Uh, let's see. Give me my substitutes. I don't think you want to waste my cards on them unless these guys get injured. This is another one. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, like you break past the defenders. They're open the gates, that's it. <laughs> it's a horse wearing the jersey. Uh oh there's one thing, just before we end the episode. One very cool thing I like about this is the fact you can just swap out burn players as their position. If I really want to I can make them a goalkeeper. Right now, I want to make him a midfielder because he's constantly the left winger. For, or right winger, sorry. We have 100 gold left for coins. Coins can finally be useful. Nope, no one. Alright, so in the next episode, we'll continue our onslaught of uh, Spider Bears. Against Felix Real, where are they next actually? They're second. They won 1-0. Well, wasn't looking forward to. See you next episode.